welcome to another edition of the Gadget Lab Show. I'm Christina Bonington. And I am Roberto Baldwin. Today we've got the Nook HD to show you, and we'll take a look at the latest Google and Android news, and then we've got a giveaway, so don't go anywhere. You're going to get free stuff. Yeah. Well, one person's going to get free stuff. Maybe even two? Maybe two people. Ooh. So what do you have to show us today, Robbie? I have the Nook HD. Now, this is the 7-inch tablet from uh, Barnes & Noble. It's a, it's a nice tablet, you know, it, it goes right up against the Kindle Fire HD. Uh -huh. And what's nice about this tablet is that it has profiles. So you can set up profiles for yourself. If you have kids, you can set up a profile that keeps your kids from getting on the internet and, mm -hmm. you know, buying yeah. random stuff or going to, you know, scary websites. Cool, yeah, because um, tablets are a lot of times just used in family and the home, so there's a few different people with different preferences. Yeah, so, you know, and, you know, you just grab your and it goes to your, your profile. It's pretty, it has the apps that you want, set up how you want it, where you want them. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, and, and, it, and, it, and shipping with this, now I know Amazon has one, it's just, it allows you to make a profile for kids, mm -hmm. but this is ready now, you can get it. It's 200 bucks for eight gigabytes, it's mm -hmm. 230 for 16 gigabytes. Um, my biggest issue with this tablet really is this plastic, like edge, it feels super, super cheap, uh. and it's kind of like you can make a noise. It's it's not. That it's, doesn't sound good at it's all. It's not awesome. That's um, probably one of my favorite things about the iPad Mini when it comes to the 78-inch space. Um, the build quality is so nice compared to some of these other seven-inch tablets, but it's yeah. so much pricier. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a, it's a pricey. It's it's much pricey. I mean, the mm. 200 bucks. Yeah. It's it's a good little tablet. Um, I like it. I'll have a full review kind of up on the Gadget Lab. But this thing is, it, it drives me nuts because it is a really good tablet. And um, if you're in the, the Barnes & Noble ecosystem, you should really check this out. Cool. Nate's here, and what do you have for us today? I have one of the largest smartphones I think maybe ever made. It's called the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. It has a 5.5 inch display. It's gigantic. It is gigantic. It's can gigantic. I hold it for a yes, second? Yes, you can. It's the size of my face. This pretty is much. How big my face is. It's pretty much as big as your face, uh, which is kind of face. yeah, yeah, maybe maybe a smaller face. But even I, I, I'd say I have a pretty decent size head, and <laughs> it's, it's it's a big it's a big it's a big phone. It's yeah. it's it's huge. Yeah. How's um, the display? The display is gorgeous. We have a 1280 by 720 display here. It's beautiful. It doesn't look the greatest in direct sunlight, but it still does look really, really great. Now, Samsung's displays are a little bit amped up on the colors, just a little oversaturated, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's it's beautiful. It's kind of nice. You really, I don't know, I only noticed it on photos, but yeah. for like animations and images and stuff. It yeah, really it totally nice. looks good. Everything pops, you know, in a, in a slightly unnatural way, but it's very pleasing, mm -hmm. yeah. Now it's a super fast phone. We have a 1.6 gigahertz uh, Samsung quad core processor in here. Nice. I think this is uh, Samsung's first quad core phone for the U.S. They tried to do that with the Gal Galaxy S3, but with LTE and you know sucking battery life and all that stuff, they opted for a dual core processor, which was honestly just as great. But here you got a quad core processor, um, two gigs of RAM. And it's going to sell for about 300 bucks on five different carriers. This is probably the coolest part, is you can get this phone on AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, T-Mobile, and U.S. Cellular. It's basically the exact same phone. There's slight differences in the radios they have for their LTE networks. Mm -hmm. But it's basically the same phone on five different carriers. And one of the cool things is, like, you're not seeing, like, a ridiculous logo here for those carriers. Right. So it's basically the same exact phone. Really, only Apple has been able to pull that off with the iPhone. So it's kind of a unique design thing that mm -hmm. I really appreciate. Yeah, and that's a huge rollout too, five carriers. Major rollout, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty much hitting carriers right now, working on the review of it. And you know, this is not necessarily a screen size that I would want to live with every day. I think it's too big for me. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you're looking for something gigantic like this, um, and if you don't oh, mind having like a stylus, yeah, the S Pen stylus from Samsung. So you can like, you know, draw on the screen and you can mark up photos and you can do all kinds of stuff, then, then this might be something you're into. What do you think of the S Pen? Um, the name of their little stylus. You know, it's a really nice stylus, uh, but it's not as, as accurate and as detailed as maybe like, you know, uh, a graphic designer would use on a like, you know, Wacom tablet or something like that. Yeah. But it's not bad. I mean, for sketching out little stuff, it's fine. I was drawing before the Georgetown Hoya mascot. Eh, it looks That's okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. On previous stuff of, 
I've done some more detailed things, and it's cool. Like if you're just trying to jot something down, it works. But is it better than just using your finger on any other phone? Uh, not really. I don't see like massive, massive utility here. It's not gotcha. going to change your life. Cool. It's just something hopefully you don't lose. Mm -hmm. And we have a product giveaway today. We have uh, two iPhone 5 cases from Spec. One of them uh, has a space where you can put your cards so you don't have to carry your wallet with you. You can just stick a few of your ID and Fancy. credit card in here. Mm. And then this one is, is, is not that. It's just different. It's kind of a flexible case. So if you want one of these, in the comments of the post, what is the difference in the diagonal screen size between the Galaxy Note 2 and the iPhone 5 in inches? Whoever is first to the first two people to get the correct answer, uh, we'll get in touch with you and mail you your iPhone 5 case. Cool. Well, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Later.